the second issue which I want to talk is about the, the change of name and surname. Ami petition gaile. I was arguing the petition. The petition is admitted. It is pending in the High Court. Kita left, right, center, low katalo. Unso konzana hujato. Katalo goya. And name change kotalo. Sadly goya kar zatalo. Tode party amche zatiche certificate given benefit gaile. And yamke goya kar rule latino. So we had challenged this in the High Court. The petition has been admitted. And the government has said we will not allow this to happen. Uh, and uh, the, we will make an amendment to the law. At amendment kyala. Amendment kyala. This registrar of power ahlate. Civil court akodila. But the question is. The issue. Ange issue of kite. To name change kata. To samta dusra munis kata. I will give you. I will at first name I forget. But I will give you exactly how it works. Some Muzaffar Sheikh became Mark Rodericks. Some Naik, some Rathod coming from uh, Karnataka has become Naik. Today's advertisements which were shared with me. I have no problem. You have the freedom to change your name. Maybe the parents gave you some name which you don't like. I took a samta, just like uh, off the hand. Pedru uh, Munasa, Pedru. <laughs> so sometimes people don't like like this. Amche joke mata or amke esle naam bol lagna. So they change it. It's all right. It's fair if you wish not to remain with that name. You have a different name. But in many countries across the world, I have seen these certificates. When they change the name, there is a remark column, and the remark column makes a small mention what was your previous name and by what order it has been changed. I saw it criminal absconding criminal maybe a terrorist he changed the name you look for that record that he's come you'll never find him because he's got a new name he'll end up getting other card he'll end up getting voting card and that will be a security issue, a terrorism issue even for our small state and for the nation. So, as far as this is concerned, I will, our party will bring out uh, amendment so as to force the government because it remarks Monasa in a birth certificate and so the remarks blank asta. In the remarks column, to give in these details, you may just say, you may not say what was his previous name. You can say name changed as per order dated so and so. You can say that. So at least say Hinda Satina. Because he doesn't want that old name to show up. No problem. But there must be the remark that his name was changed by an order. So this is a second issue. Kita, otherwise the identity of the Goans is getting lost by people who are acquiring names. We have also seen that by changing names, people are also committing frauds in the in properties. Dead people are becoming alive. And uh, they're grabbing properties, selling it to strangers. Some strangers are innocent buyers. Some may be part of the racket by saying, let us grab any property we get. But most of them are innocent buyers. People don't want to invest in money to let their money sink. People don't want to invest in thousands and crores of rupees to let the money go. People want to invest to get returns. People want to invest to make some business and a living. And I think this should be something which we need to watch and we need to make sure that the name change and surname should not be done on the drop of a hat. There's nothing. On what basis? Now I can understand even like, uh, I'll tell you, uh, Tony is Antonio, can also be an Anthony. This kind of changes, this was a, that was a, D apostrophe was a, those kind of changes. When I was ESG for the government of India, there used to be this kind of correction issues which used to come. <coughs> and every time people used to go to the court for these minor corrections. And I told the government of, in, of uh, Ministry of External Affairs, I wrote letter saying that these are the names which are frequently being changed. 
and you should not force people to go to court. It may be that I earn some money for going there, but people are putting more inconvenience. They have to engage a lawyer, they have to go to court and waste time. When these are all minor technical corrections to be done. And let me say one thing, the government of India, the Ministry of External Affairs, agreed with my proposal and had written to the, uh, the passport office here not to trouble people on these kind of issues. At their discretion that they could change this. But when, it, when let us say that uh, a sheikh becomes Rodriguez, what is the basis? Have you done a conversion? Any proof of the conversion? Or only for sake of some benefit you are going to change your complete name from one religion to another? But is there any provision in law for the change of name? In, I would say one thing. There are, there are two laws. One is the Registration of Births and Deaths Act, which is a central law. And according to me, under that law, it was possible to correct. But the government of Goa felt that it is not possible. And in 1990, Dr. Kashinath Jalmi had moved a resolution, a bill. Then he was asked to withdraw and the government of Goa itself moved a bill, which was sent to the uh, union government for concurrence, which was returned by union government by saying that you can do it at your level. And the government of Goa brought out this change of name and surname act of 1990. 